Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, EVE signs with Future Flight Global for 54 EVE TALTS. U.S. aims to fast-track air taxis' path to the skies. And Musk and SpaceX share thoughts on Ship 36 explosion. And I'm your host, Talon Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. EVE signs with Future Flight Global for 54 EVTOLs. EVE Air Mobility has signed a letter of intent with Future Flight Global to provide 54 EVTOL aircraft, which will be deployed in Brazilian and U.S. markets. Future Flight Global invests in advanced air mobility to deploy and operate aircraft globally. EVE Air Mobility exhibited a full-scale mock-up of its EVTOL at the 55th Paris Air Show. Mega Batia, chief commercial officer at EVE Air Mobility, said, quote, This collaboration with Future Flight Global is a significant step forward for urban air mobility in the Americas. By leveraging EVE's proven EVTOL technology and robust certification process, Future Flight Global gains a powerful platform to deliver efficient, sustainable air travel in high-demand markets such as Brazil and the United States, end quote. EVE Air Mobility commended Future Flight Global for its, quote, deep operational experience to expand EVE's existing and substantial market share, end quote. Karen Singh, CEO of Future Flight Global, said, quote, We are building a diversified electric aircraft fleet for global deployment across multiple mission profiles. EVE's aircraft, rooted in Embraer's 55-year legacy of designing, certifying, and supporting commercial and business aircraft, checks every box. Strong performance parameters, passenger-first ergonomics, clear certification pathway, and scalable production system, end quote. EVE Air Mobility also just recently announced a binding agreement with Revo worth $250 million for up to 50 EVTOL aircraft. After the break, Airbus and Singapore take a swing at crewed, uncrewed teaming. For over 30 years, the Massive Sportplane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sportplane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, an even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next Gen Minute. Airbus and Singapore take a swing at crewed, uncrewed teaming. Airbus helicopters will be working with Singapore's Defense Science and Technology Agency in order to test crewed, uncrewed teaming capabilities. They will be putting the Singapore Air Force's H-225M helicopter to work alongside the Airbus Flex Rotor UAS. Airbus will integrate its new modular H-teaming system into the H-225M. The system includes a modem, antennas, a tablet, and supporting software, enabling the helicopter crew to operate the flex rotor in flight. The concept is to allow helicopter crews to manage UAS tasks directly. FAA and four international agencies to collaborate on AAM. DOT Secretary Sean Duffy announced at the Paris Air Show that the FAA has initiated a collaboration with four other regulatory agencies on a roadmap to safely roll out AAM aircraft and stimulate innovation in the rapidly growing segment. The FAA, along with the aviation authorities from the UK, Australia, Canada, and New Zealand, have developed a Roadmap for Advanced Air Mobility Aircraft Type Certification that will align the airworthiness and certification standards by sharing data, safety information, and research. ASA announces the complete Remote Pilot New Edition. 
Aviation Supplies and Academics Inc. announced the release of the third edition of the Complete Remote Pilot that covers all the knowledge required for the FAA written knowledge exam and also teaches about how drones fly, their systems and components, and the requirements necessary to fly in the same national airspace system as crewed aircraft. Anyone interested in pursuing the FAA Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate required to operate drones for commercial may want to read and study this guide. Magniac's Next Gen Samson Battery Magniac's announced its new next generation Samson battery is powered by a 400 watt hour per kilogram cell developed with its cell partner and leads the industry in energy density. Magniac's now looks beyond electric aircraft at wider, non aerospace applications. Magniex introduced its Samson product line with the Samson 300 in 2024, and the company had the Samson 300 on display at this year's Paris Air Show, along with its complete fully electric powertrain for aircraft, as well as a model of its high-speed Hellestorm engine for electric helicopters. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. U.S. aims to fast-track air taxi's path to the skies. The future of advanced air mobility is looking increasingly bright for the U.S., with the President, Transportation Secretary, and Acting FAA Administrator all putting in the work to get air taxis in the sky. At the Paris Air Show, Transportation Secretary Sean Duffy and Acting FAA Administrator Chris Rochelot unveiled a roadmap to streamline certification and regulation of electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. The plan is backed by President Donald Trump, who recently signed an executive order to launch a national test program for flying cars. The new strategy includes coordination with Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and the UK to harmonize safety and certification standards. That means aircraft certified in one of these countries could potentially be approved in the others, cutting red tape and time to market for manufacturers. Key features include performance-based requirements, phase certification, and shared data across national aviation authorities. The goal is to complete harmonization by July 2027, right around when several companies claim they'll be operational. Some even promised demo flights for the 2028 LA Olympics. Companies like Archer Aviation and Boeing subsidiary Whisk Aero welcomed the announcement, calling it a turning point. Whisk's fully electric autonomous 4 c aircraft has no pilot controls, just passengers, luggage space, and a ground-based human monitor. The aircraft uses 12 electric rotors for vertical lift and forward flight with a 90-mile range. After these messages, Musk and SpaceX share thoughts on Ship 36 explosion. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Musk and SpaceX share thoughts on Ship 36 explosion. Elon Musk and SpaceX posted immediately after Starship Ship 36 experienced a catastrophic explosion and subsequent rapid unscheduled disassembly as fuel was being loaded for a static firing test of the ship's engines. Musk said that preliminary data suggested that a nitrogen composite overapt pressure vessel, or COPV, in the vehicle's payload bay failed below its proof pressure. Musk commented that if this is confirmed, it's the first time ever for this design. Videos of the incident showed the ship exploding in a massive fireball. The SpaceX team added more in a post on its website saying, quote, After completing a single-engine static fire earlier this week, the vehicle was in the process of loading cryogenic propellant for a six-engine static fire when a sudden energetic event resulted in the complete loss of Starship and damage to the immediate area surrounding the stand. The explosion ignited several fires at the test site, which remains clear of personnel, and will be assessed once it's been determined to be safe to approach. Individuals should not attempt to approach the area while saving operations continue." End quote. SpaceX also emphasized that the destruction of Ship 36 and the surrounding damage will not result in any hazards to the surrounding communities. The team also confirmed that all team members were safe and accounted for. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.